My name is Adam Kennedy. I am a supervisor and a senior biologist here at the New England Aquarium's Marine Animal Rescue Team. Uh, so for enrichment, that's definitely one thing we want to do with these turtles. Uh, when they first come in, we're watching them, uh, making sure that everything is going correctly in their intake and in their process of getting back to health. At the beginning of rehab, there is nothing in our tank, so we can get a good view of the, the turtles and make sure that they're healthy. Once we get to a certain point where the turtles are starting to get better and eating, eating what they need to eat and looking good with their swimming, we'll then start introducing enrichment. The first piece of enrichment we usually will use is what we call a hideaway. Whether it's one of these cut um, totes or just a piece of PVC, it's somewhere where the turtles can get away from the lights. Out in the wild, they'd be going under rocks, under various areas in a little bit murkier water. They're typically solitary. So this just helps them hide away, get away from the lights. We use other types of enrichment. There are these various toys that they kind of interact with as well. It's all mostly PVC. This is another type of hideaway that kind of mimics a seabed where the car wash strips just kind of float in there. Green sea turtles like to rub on it, so do loggerheads. We also will use a, a variation of this without the car wash strips as feeding enrichment for our greens, where we will put pieces of romaine lettuce in here and it just mimics again uh, a, a an ale grass bed, a turtle grass bed, we make sure we put that in there for them. So if they want to, they can enjoy that type of meal. We also use several other feeding enrichments. Mostly we use live crab, especially when we're at the end of the rehab process. Those crabs that we're using are actually green crabs or an invasive species to New England. We want to make sure that the turtles are introduced to those so we can look at their behavior as far as hunting and making sure that they're doing everything that they do before we release the turtles back into the wild. Other types of enrichments that we've been recently using is an ice toy. Uh, that's basically we take herring or squid and we put it in a little bucket, freeze that, and then we toss it in to the water and basically the turtle will come over, investigate that, kind of bite at it. It's not an easy meal for the turtle to get so they have to work at it. I know it's cold, it's ice, it's an ice cube, and you would think, but it's a reptile, but they're surrounded in nice warm water. There's no real ill effect to that. And it definitely stimulates them because out in the wild, every day is an adventure for them. And we want to make sure that it's an adventure in here for them as well as they're recovering. Another type of enrichment we use that kind of mimics the ice toy is we call it a boomer ball, where we just shove fish in one of those balls that have circles cut out into it and the turtles will go and kind of bounce it around and get the herring to fall out or the squid fall out and then they eat it from there. So with the turtles, we are looking to make sure that they are kind of engaged. This is a hospital unit, so you would imagine a sterile environment. But once these turtles get to a certain point and are healthy, unfortunately, the waters up in the Northeast aren't warm enough yet. And a lot of times, most of the East Coast isn't warm enough when these turtles are ready to be released. So we want to make sure that they have other things to interact with other than turtles or pacing lanes. So the enrichment just helps distract them and helps keep them kind of mentally active and to make sure that they're not getting bored in the tanks. Because as they get bored, especially if they have tank mates, they might get aggressive with each other. Our ultimate goal is that once we are able to get the turtles released, then those turtles that are actively moving and eating well, looking like a normal healthy turtle, get sent back to the ocean.